Well, let's um, shift gears for a moment and um, bring in uh, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Mr. Ebolu Adeboroa, who is in our Abuja studio, joins us uh, also for this Democracy Day special. Good morning, Senior Advocate. Welcome to the Morning Brief. Good morning. Thank you. Well, uh, I, I could talk about your June 12 experience as well, even though the president didn't mention your name or that of Professor <laughs> Killer. But that doesn't take away the fact that you played your role as well. I was just reading uh, something about your journey from area F, Ikeja, to DMI, Apapa. So clearly you have your own uh, attachment to this celebration in court. But I remember also about two, three years ago, you had asked that you know, people boycott government events. You said that even that president then, former president Buhari, didn't, is, well, didn't have any reason to celebrate Democracy Day and the rest. But now there's a new administration, the Tinubu government, giving this Democracy Day speech. From that journey, what you experienced up until now, does it match up for you, the speech you heard today? Thank you very much, Kaode. Uh, good morning, fellow Nigerians. Good morning, uh, Professor Kila, my dear comrade. I listened to the speech of the president. Uh, unfortunately, I'm unable to agree that anything has changed. It is true that the president along with us and many other Nigerians uh, campaign for democracy. You will ask me what were we fighting for? The June 12th election was annulled by the military and we were advocating for that election to be recognized. And then along with it was also to ensure that we enjoyed true federalism and our subsequent elections will probably be better than the one we had in 1993. And I'm sure you know clearly that the election that brought the current president into office was nothing to write home about. And elections that have held since he assumed office have gotten worse. So you ask me to say that, can we still describe ourselves as heroes of democracy? You know, especially if you have one of us who is now in power. <laughs> of course, I would say no. Uh, I expected on a day like this, all Nigerians who are being held in custody wrongfully should be released. I expected on a day like this, if indeed we say it's a day to uh, commemorate democracy in Nigeria, we should talk about engaging the constituent units of this nation to find out whether indeed we are running a true federation. What are people agitating for? Why is there continual uh, uh, issues of banditry? Why is IPOB agitating? Why is there crisis in the Southwest? I thought that occasions like this will give us a roadmap of steps to be taken to achieve true democracy. What are we doing to amend the Constitution? When are we going to really start the journey of true federation, restructuring? When are we going to get to a stage when the judiciary will become the bastion of our democratic experience? So I'm sorry, I, 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 I'm not uh, impressed in any way at all by the speech of the president in the sense that it is just rehashing history. Any historian who has read the contributions of Democrats, of comrades, of activists, who read any speech like this. But for somebody who was in the forefront of that struggle, somebody who himself was part of that particular struggle, and is now the person in charge of the affairs of the country, I expected more, honestly. And so for me, looking at the past one year, and indeed our collective history, from the period when we started agitating for democracy. It's gotten worse. Nothing has changed at all. As we speak here this morning, you are well aware that there are journalists who are kept in various detention centers because they criticized their governors, because they wrote something concerning a public officer he was not happy about it, and then they are languishing in custody. That shouldn't be. I, I 
commend the president for asking Nigerians to hold him accountable uh, morally and constitutionally for democracy. But it's just a matter of speech. You know what is going on in this country, the way the law enforcement agencies are still harassing Nigerians, the way the police stations have still continually become uh, detention centers without regard to constitutional provisions about bail and freedom. So I expected an organic program that will define a movement forward. It's not enough for the president to say that we didn't arrest labor leaders when they declared their strike. What is the outcome of that strike? You know, a day like this should have contained a declaration to say we're paying 100,000. We're paying 200,000. But the president cleverly parried it and said we're going to send a bill to the National Assembly. So I expected something different, you know, from somebody who indeed was part of the struggle for democracy. So if you ask me my impression concerning this speech, it's just history. Thank <laughs> you.